Example 2. 2x plus 1 times y prime equals 4x plus 2y. The first thing we need to do is to put the given equation into the general form. So assuming that the expression within these brackets is equal to 0, 2x plus 1 is equal to 0, we can divide the left and the right sides of this equation by this expression and obtain the following. y prime equals 4x over 2x plus 1 plus 2y over 2x plus 1. We can also move this sum right here to the left and we'll obtain y prime minus 2 over 2x plus 1 times y equals 4x over 2x plus 1 And now we have our equation written in the general form. Let's now make a substitution. y equals u times v. We also remember that the derivative of a product is found as follows. u prime v plus v prime u. Let's now substitute these expressions into our equation. So we'll have u prime v plus v prime u minus 2 over 2x plus 1 times u times v equals 4x over 2x plus 1. We can factor out u on our left, and so we'll have u prime v plus u times v prime minus 2 over 2x plus 1 times v equals 4x over 2x plus 1. We're choosing the v function such that the expression within these brackets equals 0. And so we obtain another equation. v prime minus 2 over 2x plus 1 times v equals 0. We can also write it down as dv over dx equals 2 over 2x plus 1 times v. And this, as we can see, as an equation with separable variables. So we can go like this. dv over v equals to dx over 2x plus 1 and then we'll integrate the left and the right and obtain ln v equals the integral of 2dx over 2x plus 1 which is equal to the integral of d 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1 and then ln v equals ln of 2x plus 1 and plus the constant, or we can write the logarithm of a constant instead. And then finally we'll recall some of the logarithm's properties. And have the following. ln of 2x plus 1 times the constant. So our v function So our v function equals the constant times 2x plus 1.
already found this, the expression for the v function, so we can simply substitute it into this equation. So we have u prime equals 1 over v times 4x over 2x plus 1, which is equal to 1 over c sub 1 times 2x plus 1 and times 4x over 2x plus 1 u prime equals 4 over c sub 1 times x over 2x plus 1 squared u equals the integral of 4 over c sub 1 times x over 2x plus 1 squared dx. I'm going to need more space to evaluate this integral, so I'm just going to erase the left, I suppose.
Now let's multiply and divide this expression within the brackets by 2 one more time. So we'll have 2 over c sub 1 times 1 half times the integral of 2 dx over 2x plus 1. No, nobody's right here. Minus another integral. 2dx over 2x plus 1 squared. So my constant is simply 1 over c sub 1 times the integral of d 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1 minus the second integral d 2x plus 1 2x plus 1 squared. <clears throat> so I have 1 over c sub 1 times ln of the absolute value of 2x plus 1 plus simply 1 over 2x plus 1 and then there is another constant c sub 2 and basically what we have here is the u function So let me just try this one more time. So our u function is actually equal to 1 over c sub 1 times ln of the absolute value of 2x plus 1 plus 1 over 2x plus 1 and plus c sub 2. And our v function is written over there. I don't think we're going to confuse them. And our final step is to multiply these two functions in order to return to the y function. So we had y equals u times v. And therefore we have 1 over c sub 1 times ln of the absolute value of 2x plus 1 plus 1 over 2x plus 1 plus the constant multiplied by the v function which is written over here times c sub 1 times 2x plus 1 and what we have is the following 2x plus 1 times the expression within these brackets ln of 2x plus 1 plus 1 over 2x plus 1 plus the constant So multiply these two brackets and have 
2x plus 1 times ln of the absolute value of 2x plus 1. And then we'll have plus 1. And plus the constant times 2x plus 1. And this is our answer.